Okay, we're going to quickly talk about how the different things that you create can be shared among your class. So you know that there's the creation stream, and this is where everyone's creations will come into one place, and you can look at your own, at your own creations only, if you so choose, by checking that off. Now, I'm the only one in this imaginary class, but you can also look at everybody's, or you can separate them based on a few other things once you got more creations. So the nice thing about this way of sharing is that I could open up either something I did earlier or someone else's work and I can edit it and save it as my own file. So it's not editing the person's original file, so I'm not ruining or messing with someone else's work, but I could take it and build upon it or edit it for my own use. So one way a teacher could use this is to put a baseline file in there and have students edit it based on certain criteria. Or you can have one student create something, another one add something else, another one add something else, and it could go on that way. So I'm going to take a look at, we'll go for this one here and we'll open it up and edit this one. So it'll edit up, or open up, sorry, the music creator. Okay, and I can close this. Okay, so when it opens up, I can make my few edits that I want to make. Let's see, we'll just add in a whole bunch of that, and we'll add in a whole bunch of this. Okay, so I've taken someone's work and built upon it, and now I'm going to save it as Jack editing oh, oops. Oh, music and I'm going to save that as a new creation okay so here is where I can either share it again but one thing we're going to do for this example is I'm going to save this as an mp3 onto my computer somewhere so yes I want to download this And sure, we'll save it into this file here. Okay. And now I'm just going to close out of the editor. Yes. Okay, so now I'm back in my creations page. And if I refresh this page or have this page come back up, I'll see that new creation right here. And I can listen to it. Just like this. Oh, I made it even much worse. Um, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into one of my, so this was a creation I made using the music editor, that our demo podcast, I believe. Welcome to OTS Demo Podcast. Okay, so now we're going to go in and edit this file. So this could be my work, or it could have been someone else's work, and I could be adding a new track to someone else's work if I, if that was the task I had been provided with. Okay, so those are the two tasks, sorry, the two tracks I already created. But I'm going to go in and go File, Import Audio, and I'm going to find that file that I just saved. Okay, there we go. Open that up. Um... Who can see? I can either share this with other people or keep it to myself. Is there a right? I'm going to create a Commons dot. I don't have any. If someone wants to use that ridiculous sound, piece of sound of music, piece of music that I created, then they can. And here we go. Any other information? Is it a loop? No. Okay, so I've got no other information really about that piece of music. Great, and now I don't have another file to upload. And now I will see that new piece of music that I just uploaded over here. And I can add that, I don't know, say right there. Okay, so now we can, so someone else may have created these two tracks. Now I've added a new track on. I can listen to the whole thing. It's not going to sound very good, but let's take a listen. 
Maybe turn that volume down quite a bit. So that's the beginning. Try it again. Okay, anyways, you get the idea. We'll save our new version. And we'll mix that down. Okay, so now I can hear it here. I can download it as an mp3 or a wave, just like I did before. And again, all of my sharing. Uh, I can close out of this window. I'm good. And if I, again, refresh my page, then I will see that new creation showing up on here.